Adamawa to block sale and transport of cows to Lagos and other states. Welcome to the news. And please subscribe to our channel. To be the first to get notified where we'll post hot, juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Thank you. The Demo state governments have resolved to block the sale and transportation of livestock out of a state to Lagos and other parts of a country. This is actually news because if this was like the northern states have decided to stop sale, to stop transport of cows to the southeast, we will say, okay, fine, those ones have said they don't want. Let's find out what brought about the development. The news in detail, please stay with us. The government said the decision to stop transaction in livestock was aimed at blocking revenue leakages. Stress that a state loses an estimated 8.4 billion naira to cattle sales. They said the move would assist the state to get all revenues accruable to the livestock value chain. Secretary to the state government SSG Bashar Ahmed on Thursday said Lagos and other states along the transport route collect about 35,000 naira as revenue per head of cattle, while the mower only gets a paltry 300 naira. According to him, Lagos state government makes 10,000 on each slaughtered cow, besides the revenue made through the cattle value chain. An estimated 8,000 naira cattle are collected in Lagos state alone. Daily. According to Aliyu Abdul Ahmed, Managing Director of Nigeria Incentive Based Rig Sharing System, NIRSAL, on the national scale, Nigerians consume over 90,000 cows daily, according to a survey conducted by former Agriculture Minister Audu Obe. Out of the number, Adamara State accounts for about 10,000 cows consumed daily in the country. This informs why the Mawa government in a strategic revenue drive, according to the SSG, decided to stop selling and transporting livestock out of a state, especially cattle. Bashar further disclosed that instead of taking livestock out of a state, Adama would now process and deliver beef to Lagos and other markets across the country. He said what we collect as revenue per head of cattle is far lower than being collected along the road to the point of sale. People from Katu, people take Katu from movie market here, move it to Lagos. Along the road, they pay no, nothing less than 5,000 naira per head in like five revenue collection points. By the time they get to Lagos and sell it, another 10,000 per head is paid for just the cow to be slaughtered. While in Adamawa, where the cow originated, we're left with about 300 to 400 naira revenue per head. So resolve that if this thing originates from us, then we should be able to generate substantial revenue just as others are doing. As we have seen how much revenue is gathered outside the state from a cattle, we decided to harness it to improve our economy. To achieve that from now on, we'll impress the value chain of a cattle by removing it from the market to an abattoir within the state, slaughter it, process it by separating the heights and the bones and the horns, and that will package the beef for shipment to markets in Lagos and other states. By the time we do this, the 25,000 are collected, collected along the road, and the 10,000 are collected in Lagos for slaughter will remain here in the state, he said. Hmm. Well, it's actually, the business idea is actually looking, it's looking, it's looking good. It's just that I fear for those who have actually taken this business as their own personal business. I mean, Lagosians. They're the ones who are going to be, you know, bearing it. At the end of the day, they'll have to, you know, get it at a very high price. You know what? How scarcity can make um, goods um, very high. They increase their prices. And then they, in turn, will not get to sell very high to the end consumer. Good news to me in particular. Bye bye to Innocentica. Uh -uh. Some people do not have chill. Nigeria has special adaption abilities. Of course, in this area, yes. Yes, we do. Let us give ourselves some round of applause, right? We move, we also move on too quickly. We are no longer worrying about the kidnapping on highways, the raging of villages, and the havoc from bandits. We have now adjusted to the whole thing as if it's no longer happening. Meanwhile, this kidnapping thing has not stopped. Many men, women, and children are still held in the kidnappers' cave. In the same way, 
We all, have all adjusted to the high cost of food stuff in the market. You just quietly add a certain amount of money to your food stuff budget and enter the market because you don't know what must have changed or how much must have been added to what you're going to buy. By default, we have accepted that everything don't cost language. While in school, many students have already mapped out what to do with their life after school. Those who are privileged either by job or connection works for them. While a common man, son to daughters, look at the other ways they can earn a living. And anyone is living like they are not entitled to work after schooling. We all have to adapt to changes since we aren't seen any solution to a complaint. When Nigeria succeed, God will bless you for this beautiful piece. So it is our ability to adapt. That is why the government is making sure the squash us like, I don't understand. With their policies, they're always bringing out on a daily basis or will I say on a quarterly basis. Okay, that would be good. My only fear is that policy may never be executed. Exactly. It is one thing to come out to see. And is another to actually implement. We just hope that this beautiful idea is being, you know, there is, there is not just, mo um, there's not just um, um, speech on it, but it is actually there's, or let's say there's acted upon and implemented. You need various infrastructure across the value chain, efficient cold rooms, stable water, and efficient delivery system. Does Adamawa has the capacity to do this in the short and long run? I really doubt it. That is the plan of Great Sagia Awolowo before it was destroyed by those that won Nigeria. Allow South to remain prostrate and subsequent to a part of the country. The question again is that, is this sustainable? Well, they are trying to cut costs, I think, uh, from uh, what I can deduce from what this uh, state government is trying to do. So they want to go through all that means because they believe, especially Lagos, is trying to rip them off and what they pay is more than what they themselves they get. Well, it is all about uh, making more profits. If it is not convenient for you, fine. But the thing is that it's not only in Lagos they are going to stop this uh, the the sale. Or uh, like I said, is it going to be sustainable? Are they sure that they are going to go through all this for a very long time? They will not even change their mind. Uh, one thing is that. No matter what, things must just go the way you really want it. If at all you are serious and you are just too sure of what you are doing. If not, a time will come that they may want to change their mind. And those areas or the states that they are going to be stopping or taking the sales of uh, whatever to, those ones, they will look for alternative. I think uh, that will see of most of the problems that are being um, circulated all over. Let's see how it goes. No worries.